Howdy mates. Good morning. It is Sunday, December 19th, 2021, and it's actually near approaching Christmas time. So, I'm actually visiting a spot today that is called the Pine Woods Trail, located on Pine Island, which is basically the whole length of the island is about 16 or so miles. So, we're basically in Lee County right now. Pine Island basically borders with the Charlotte Harbor all the way around. So it doesn't really meet up with the Gulf. You kind of have to go a decent ways until you can. But it's my first time visiting Pine Island, so it's I'm just really taking the time to see what this place has to offer. But uh, as part of Pine Woods Trail, it's relatively short, probably about maybe a third of a mile. And they do provide some interpretive signs that really allow you to learn about what you can find here. So like, for instance, they talk about the gopher tortoise and their value in our ecosystems as they are indeed herbivorous. And, as many of you may well know, they are indeed a keystone species. So without these fellow homies, a lot of our biodiversity would remain in trouble. Just because the gopher tortoise digs burrows which can provide shelter for up to 350 separate species, as you saw on that interpretive sign. But essentially, in these types of ecosystems, that is where gopher tortoises will thrive. We're in a pine flatwoods. So we're a bit more further upland. So with that being said, the soil is going to be slightly drier, and more acidic because a lot of these slash pines they tend to thrive in acidic soil but typically too the soil is very well drained so usually after a rain that water will go away rather quickly unless of course it's during the wet season and the water will stick around but here we go while I'm here, we've actually got a gopher tortoise burrow. This is what it looks like, you guys, in case if you wanted to see a direct illustration. Now, I'm not directly seeing it right away, so it could be outside of its burrow right now. So, it's best to just let it be. But usually the width of a burrow equals the length of the gopher tortoise. So it actually helps indicate how old they are. So based on that one, that one is probably about, it's most likely an adult. And this talks a bit about the downy woodpecker. So this is probably Robert Downey Jr.'s favorite woodpecker. <laughs> They're probably all over his house. But uh, these are another species of woodpecker. And there's usually up to seven. Now, they're usually indicated by having a red little spot on the back of their head, as you can see right here. And typically their beaks are a bit smaller as well. But when it says nape, that basically talks about the back of its head. It's basically males have that red patch. But then females, they, they don't have it. Yep. Basically in these types of habitats, you really have the opportunity to see all kinds of birds. So like even just a little bit ago, I could have swore that I saw even some cedar wax wings 
because not too far from here we have some wax myrtle as well and we even saw i uh, even saw wood storks as well so i mean there's just plenty of opportunity to see some biodiversity so all right you guys stay tuned for other videos that i will make for today it's so far though i'm actually quite impressed with what uh, pine island has to offer but um a couple of other people told me about some other spots to check out while i'm down here so very much looking forward to doing that it's all right you guys take care enjoy your sunday and journey on a journey is outwards take care folks see ya